I want to do one final little short clip on this hold command. We've been, this would be the third in a little series. Um, and this is maybe the most important. We talked about if a puppy comes back and drops it, what to do then. We talked about, in the last clip, we talked about if a puppy or a dog is bobbling it in their mouth, how to deal with that. Well, this would be the last few thoughts that I have about the hold command. Let's say you have a, a slightly older dog. He's starting to come back pretty well with the bumper, but he drops it. And um, you feel like he should know the fetch command and the hold command, and you're really getting frustrated because he's not doing it. So I want to talk about that for just a, a minute. I've mentioned these things before, but I want to reiterate especially the things you don't do. What I see over and over again, and I've seen it for many, many years, dog comes back, he drops a bumper. The infuriated handler reaches down, gets a bumper, jams it in their mouth or the bird, and starts banging on the bottom of their jaw, hollering, hold, 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 almost sometimes at the top of their voice, their faces turn red, the veins come out of all their, their arms and their neck. And it's a, um, if it wasn't so ridiculous, it would be comical. But nonetheless, I'm telling you, and everybody has seen it, I'd like to present a slightly different way to look at it. If you have collar conditioned your dog to the fetch command with the electric collar. This becomes easy and the problem soon goes away. So let's say the dog fetch is like this and he drops the bird. Um, good, at a boy. Sit. But I'm going to do that in slow motion, and this is what I would recommend. The, the bird is dropped. Instead of going over, picking it up, and jamming it in the dog's mouth, you just cut, be calm. You have your electric collar. You say, fetch. Good. Now you can praise him for doing the right thing. Now he says, oh, I'm, I'm not such a bad guy. Fetch. Good. That a boy. Sit, sit, fetch, good. Now you've got an energized, positive attitude going on. You've got the dog fetching, fetch, good, Atta boy. sit, all right, yeah, good. I'm trying to get this to look as terrible as possible. Fetch, good, all right, hold, sit. Very good, very good, out. What's happened is I've taken sort of a mistake. Dogs made a mistake. I've made a positive reaction to it by saying, fetch, Nick, fetch. Now he's fetched, he's holding, and we're all happy. I don't have um, a uh, embarrassed or sad look on my face, I'm happy because he is one step closer to being really good at holding properly. Fetch. Hold. Sit. Remember we talked about reinforcing. Sit. 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 Good. 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 Out. Fetch. Or hold. Hold. Hold, and we've talked about now how to fetch. Good, deal with a bumper that's laying on the ground instead of sit, sit, good. Instead of making a 
spectacle of yourself, turn it into something positive. And one other thing that's really important is I posted a roasted chicken recipe uh, the other day and I think you ought to try it. It's fabulous. The caramelized vegetables under that chicken, awesome.